know, they, they're working with some, you know, <laughs> new cogs in the machine. However, this is when you need to turn things around. This is game you are throw. never going to be confident <laughs> saying a player name ever again after that. Nah, man, my whole life is just <laughs> accidental mistakes. I'm still going to say it. Who do you think I am? Anyways, <laughs> King's Row, OG map. And this is where, you know, Skyfox got to turn things around. Uprising Academy, they're still searching for their first win of the season, and Sky Fox would be beating themselves black and blue if they gave it to them. Right now, no surprises. Bustio back on the Sombra, and Lastro, you know, sadly for me, as an auto aficionado, not on the auto. Oh, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, that's. You gotta have that situational awareness as a Sombra. There's so many threats against a Sombra. Back in the day, it was the Kreeze who could, you know, flash headshot or you know, hand the hammer if you're neat. And you just gotta stay aware, because. Your job is to make you the predator, not the prey. This is a camera angle you're not quite used to seeing because Sky Foxes were literally trapped there. They oh, could... look at the body! So sad. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, they were in, you know, a kennel they couldn't get out of, yeah. right? And so Sky Foxes find themselves in that position because Lucio goes down. They have a five v six memorized the category. Like, cool, we'll take the rest of you. You're all bunched up for us. It's super easy, especially for our Reinhardt. Clone Man, though, going to take advantage of. You know, a little bit of a bad play for Sky Fox because he's going to find himself at more shadow, a little bit more too far. He's also in that corner with everyone else. It's not a safety corner like in Hide and Seek. That was a death corner for Sky Fox <laughs> this time <laughs> around. Uprising Academy have the nano. They're going to go ahead and use it on the new one. I love seeing him use the hammer, but because he's using the hammer, he's going to get Earth Shattered. And soon going to find first blood here from Sky Fox. Earth Shattered going to be falling with the other way around. Uprising Academy stabilizes. Yeah. So, no, that though is going going to be an even trade between the two of them, and Swimmer is Uprising Academy's key out of sticky situations just like this. Now Skyfoxes can push forward with Abandoned really nicely from Scalar, who has been impressing, but unfortunately he, can, he has to wait to impress us more when he gets back from respawn. That's a really unfortunate overextension, getting a little bit too greedy for T2Y. He feels the nano go on him, and I know it, man, I'm a Ryan main, but sometimes you just gotta hold your horses a little bit, because you might stay alive. What about the rest of your team? And so Sky Fox is coming in with to this next fight with three ults, potentially five, depending on how who are you and Mac are going to develop those ults, which can happen very quickly. The bigger part here for Sky Fox is that they've, they've got tempo control. If they're able to break through on this first choke, they will most likely walk the It's a big test for them. And they're going to go ahead and turn through Zombies. You see Zarya try to fly above everyone. The EMP comes through after the grab. So they're not going to be able to cycle that out. But to get through arguably one of the hardest chokes here can throw. Yeah, Uprising Academy, unfortunate. We have been praising Swimmer for his sound barrier timing. You know, always very aware of where the EMP is, how charged it is. But this time around, throwing good after bad and getting all of his hard work nullified by Bustio, who is on the hunt for another EMP. Hoon taking a nap here, though, will buy Sk Uprising Academy an opportunity to come back in. Gonna charge right back in. Tidawai going to go ahead and be that aggressive Reinhardt that we wanted to be, but that was on Volskaya. So far, King Crow has shown a little bit of a different story. The Brazen Academy has spent more time walking backwards so far as Skyfox is going to go ahead and use his ultimate to counter what they're getting thrown at. Punk, though, got to land on that self-destruct thanks to a great charge coming in from Tidawai, who is hatched at the moment that doesn't seem to be enough Skyfoxes from out on this attack, uh, Bryce Academy do finally stabilize, and it's so good to see the Nano go on to and him actually speak to Amber. It was like he was here to speak, not even so confident enough, but he stood up straight, straightened up his tie, and went ahead and just went for it. Exactly, and that's what you gotta do sometimes as a Rhine. And Scalar using the Nano to save him from, you know, potential death when he got hacked. Not a bad usage at all, because now they have Rally to buy them a bit more cushion until they get some more ultimates in already ready with the Shatter. Both of these Reinhardts kind of been a bit hot and cold with these ultimates, but Bustio could take away all of that uncertainty with the EMP. The Earth Shatter gonna hit Klaus and a little bit of a Reinhardt who's stuck on the ground. Clone Man gonna get slept, woken up by the Earth Shatter. That's a funny interaction. I don't think I've ever seen that exactly happen like that if he gets up twice. And so Uprising Academy are gonna win out. Potentially, it's a close going to try to bring things back. He's dangerously low. He's going to get charged, though, by it. He's going to watch the invested by Lastro. Lastro is in this game. It's the suspect for sure as Nano cuts through. The shield goes down. Love seeing that if you're a Tidawat fan. And Skyfox is investing a ton into this losing fight. 
Yeah, Skyfire. Uh, it's really questionable. Trance right there. It could have been that he was zooming in to try and save Clone Man, but at this point, as a Zen, you know you can't save a Reinhardt from the burst damage of a charge. It's 300 healing per second, so it's over time. And Uprising Academy come out looking stellar. Sound barrier ready, nearly bomb, grab, and shatter. Scalar has been generating these nanos per fight, using them each time to weaponize Tidawat, not just to keep him alive in those sticky situations, although that's also a great get out of free get out of jail free card that he's been using well. Grab Monster no. is gonna go through. Sky Foxes will not be going through a lot of that Graviton Surge. Clone Man is going to be taking the Lastro as well. Up to the Academy is honestly just looking like the better team so far over the last couple of maps. This defense has been very strong, and the joke is it's hard to find these defenses here for the contenders. Yeah, but Uprising Academy and whatever they've been using, Geolocation, I'm Craigslist, I'm not quite sure. They found it here against Sky Foxes. EMP has been doing almost nothing. Uh, sans that, you know, really great sound barrier cancellation earlier today. We got to start seeing that ultimate cycle come in for Sky Foxes. If you're running a Sombra, that's your game plan. That is your win condition. And right now, even if Bustio EMPs half the team, you throw Nano onto Tita Y, you bought yourself more time to, for the hack to wear off so you can just rest your all Separate just a little bit more. You don't want to all get caught in this EMP. Skyfox is going to be pushing that hand. Oh, Tito Watt, who's Nano? He's going to be able to survive most of this. Self-destruct, not going to find much EMP now. Going to be following a through from the Fusio. Earthshatter is going to be there as well. That's the synergy that you've been looking for all game so far. Skyfox is an uprising Academy still showing up on this table. Not too long. Skyfoxes are going to capture this a point in the nick of time. No EMP there. In my opinion, it's no point for them. They are going to continue on here. King Crow, only a minute and 27 seconds left. Yeah, that was the key to that fight was the EMP, especially when Uprising thought they maybe had forced Lucio out of the fight by forcing the translocate early. He runs right back in here and drops EMP when everybody's least expecting it. Punk now just playing keep away. Uprising Academy needs just a little bit more time in the mirrors than I have to wrap again. Air Shatter goes through. Lastro is on oh! and the ground was actually the only one that gets the seed. And so there's going to be no transcendence. This is a free fight for Uprising Academy. The good news for Sky Fox is they will be able to develop the EMP. This next fight, they have to win two fights to get to the end. So this next one will most likely go Sky Fox's way, but maybe not. Looking at Uprising Academy so far. Yeah, if Mirror drops grab first, might not be anything you can do. EMP goes through, four members are hacked, and then the Earth Shatter comes through right after. There is no time. Oh, as actually Swimmer's gonna get the sound barrier off, and it's a 5v5 between these teams, and who's walking back? It's Sky Foxes right now. They're waiting for Upper Academy to on the cooldown, which they have. Clomain gonna be using that time to take Kinawat out. Use the Graviton Surge, but Sliver gonna get that big kill that's gonna be huge for Uprising Academy. But remember, Sky Foxes have to win another fight to win this round. Yeah, it's gonna be look dicey. Hoon decided to use Gra Grav to guarantee that fight, but their Sky Foxes are looking at another one. Whoever builds Grav first will have such a major advantage. No support ultimates for Uprising Academy. And they're gonna meet each other on the payload. You're seeing the aggressive eye contact from these Reinhards. Punk gonna throw out a naked bomb. Sound barrier, not gonna be enough to see who are you alive. Two kills now coming from Uprise Academy. This is looking like a hold for them. That's gonna give them a really great opportunity on their attacking side because just earlier today, before our first game on Kings Row, we said it's not about how, like, finishing Kings Row, it's about how much time you have left mm -hmm. afterward because most teams do finish out this map but however today two teams unable to do it let's see if uprising academy are able to take advantage of the leeway that sky fox has just now given them exactly by not finishing out the map you give yourself you know you you don't give yourself a second chance you must hold before the golden box of victory and so Sky Fox is going to be kicking themselves just a little bit for not completing things out. They fall short of the goal line, and Uprising Academy should feel very impressed with how they dealt with Sky Fox's offense. Scalar, I mean, we've been—I feel like we've been shouting out Anos all day long, but they for really good have, yeah, they really have shown up in today's series. Scalar here shutting down Lastro's trance with a great 
anti-nade and th those are just kind of like the small moments that have been consistently pushing uprising academy over the top and that's something that i thought that's a word that i never thought i would use to describe uprising academy the definition of you know a really streaky more often than not cold team but They've been playing with house money right now, and I, I think they know it. They've been coming at these fights with so much confidence and hitting all of their marks. Yeah, Mirror has been a very nice addition to Uprising Academy, in my opinion. That they're, He's given them, again, I, I say this word a lot because I really mean it. I think Moxie is so important, particularly in your DPS and main tank players. If your, your DPS and main tank players are going in there and not in their head being like, I'm the best main tank on this field, you're not going to be my favorite main tank because I think you need to have that kind of mentality to think you're better than everyone to be better than everyone, right? It's okay to be like humble, that, right? right? But you also yeah. got to be confident. And I think Mirror is one of those players that can't get that kind of confidence in his head where no one can take him down. Wub, another player that we saw earlier yep. today that was in in the membrane with those widows. He's shooting through a lot of those membranes. What year is it? Uprising Academy and the Sky Foxes are going to meet each other once more here as the gates open. Uprising Academy don't need to finish the map. They do have to get this first point here. Getting taken pretty low there to start things off. And we're actually going to take with this Reaper. Ever since Elivo played it, we've been seeing more of it. Elivo is kind of a trendsetter, but that was a very different map. It was a very different situation than this. And so the Reaper is going to give you a good look against this Reinhardt. He's going to be able to get close and potentially help break that shield. Some hacks going through, however, as Klaus is going to get hacked. But Punk is going to get first blood against Clodan without that shield. This Reaper is just going to get more and more deadly as time goes on. It is very difficult to play with a Reaper, but when you're a player like Mira with the rest of your team supporting you, it just feels as simple as shoot, they shoot, shoot. That, didn't they? I, it, seriously, Skyfoxes could not stand up against the shield break that Mira has been pumping out, and I'm curious if we're going to get to see a return to the Blade, Beyblade meta spin to win. Mira is barely 50% to ultimate. This is going to help, though. Oh, he's gonna oh, oh. shift away, get stunned. These nanos need to find value. So far, the value is keeping the Reaper alive. Remember, the teleport is a lot faster than it was before, so it's a really good way to get back to your team. He's already at full health to try to run some damage into the backside. Once more, the EMP can happen after the Earth Shatter. Uprise the Academy, they're gonna find more out of that. The Earth Shatter, better than the EMP. He's gonna dab on some. Oh, <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, Throw in an emote after that, too. The worse, right? the better. Spray, right? Maybe, like, one of those, like, negative signs. I I love this look from Uprising Academy. We've been saying all along that these teams that, you know, struggle with goats, struggle with somber goats, just play your own game. Innovate, right? Sometimes that extra bit of surprise factor is all you need. I'm sure when Bustio ran to spawn and saw that Reaper coming out, he was like, yo, guys, I think they're actually running Reaper, man. What do we do? <laughs> so, that EMP he did absolutely nothing, and that was kind of one of the saving graces for Skyfox this top, and now they're just going to get grabbed. Yeah, he hasn't even had to use the death loss for so far. The Earth Shatter going to knock Mirror off to the ground. Sound area, they're going to keep him alive. The point was taken by Uprising Academy in the middle of that. And more ultimates now coming from Uprising Academy. This Death Blossom is really not necessary so far for them as the momentum still on their side. Skyfox is unable to deal with not just the Reaper, but Uprising Academy in general. Yeah, they've literally been using Mirror to face tank Skyfoxes, which I find <laughs> so funny because, yeah, 250 HP ain't nothing to sneeze at, but Reaper is a squishy DPS. And Skyfoxes just have not had even a chance to use any of their cool sands that first. Uh, EMP. Here we go. Oh, beautiful oh! shift. Oh my, oh my goodness. Gosh. My brain stopped because I was so impressed by what just happened. He avoided the CC by Rift Wraith walking oh. for a second and then Death Blossoms. That was huge. That was cool. You don't that. see that every day. That's I, ha I, have, series, I have literal chills on my arms right I'm, now. I'm, I'm like catching flies over here. Wow, and a was that on accident? Maybe yeah, it can't, had to. Can't I mean, be on no, accident, no, man. No, 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 the no, shift wasn't Mirror's on accident. Top tier, man. He he knows exactly what he's doing. But man, running, I just love like Uprising Academy, the Cajones, to come in here and run Reaper from start to finish. He doesn't die ever. No deaths on this Reaper. He has Death Blossom for half the map. He saves it for the final finishing blow, and he's like, "I am the Daisy of Death." <laughs> the lily of lifelessness, the poinsettia of pain, whatever, you know, emo, like slam poetry, Reaper probably mm. writes in his spare time. But He would do slam poetry. Yeah, he would definitely do it. Uh, but like, 
I mean, Sky Foxes, I feel like they were just standing there just like me with their mouths open the whole time, had really no tools. We never really saw a successful grab, fight win. I mean, they they didn't win a single fight. They were moving backwards the whole time, mm -hmm. right? They, they were giving so much respect to this Reaper, and they just honestly... There's no way to 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 think about how to go against it if you're just not expecting it, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Bastion, where the surprise is where most of the value comes in, yeah. right? But with Reaper, the surprise usually is for one point, not the entirety of a king's row, and then getting five kills uh... on Death Blossom after shifting away for a second from all the CC that Sky Fox has just threw out at hips to make sure that did not happen and it did mirror i stand by my last comment right this is a guy who can turn a team around and i think he just did that with uprising academy but it's more of a team effort as well swimmer you know he was fragging out a little earlier i think punk has been playing really good oh, punk we were getting on great. divas just in general a little mm -hmm. earlier and he's been proving us you know moderately wrong i still think that they could use a little bit more looks but i like how they've gotten to this point Right, and uh, it just speaks to his ability to get so much value from D.Va in a meta where she's more and more difficult to play. Remember when Nano Boost gave you speed, too? Yeah. Oh, my God. Man, how did we ever play this game? My favorite is uh, way back in the day. It's the, do you remember when Self-Destruct killed D.Va? <laughs> yes. Some of my favorite clips were of Self-Destructs killing their own D.Va. Fashion had a shield and beta. There are just some things that you're like, huh. Oh, but they were able to edit it out at, yeah. you know, after some due process in, in, in the games. Uprising Academy, 3-0. I believe this is their first win in Contender since week one of last season. So really congratulations to them. Starting off 0 oh, Two, but still coming in to a Sky Foxes team. It's not like this is a you know bottom of the barrel team. Sky Foxes are a very good team. They just have had a hard time getting things to stick, right? And I yeah. think the hardest part about that has been you know their you know carousel of DPS players as well as the Zarya. But today, Last Jedi I think had one of the roughest games I've seen him have ever since seeing Last Jedi. Yeah, he's a support player where you get used to kind of just yelling his name because he's constantly popping up in the kill feed. Not today, though. Clone Man drops in, gets the ally. Bubble Mirror is so annoyed. He's still peppering. Oh! Hey! Swat that mosquito. Blastro, there we go, showing up. Yep, this is what they need to do. Skyfox has wanted to win this game. They need to recreate that a little bit earlier, but just like Gladiator's Legion a little earlier today, it's not too little too late. I have a feeling that this group is going to get to that map win loss differential. So the difference between a 4 0 and a 3 1 could be massive for your playoff hopes. Skyfoxes will most likely make it to playoffs. They could be for Gauntlet still. Uprise Academy, though, came in here, gave them a little bit of a reality check, and it's going to continue with Teenbot getting another kill on it too. Last year, Mac will follow, and the reality check will motivate most teams. Usually, teams like Skyfoxes and Legion, who lose like they did today, will come back and they will be amazing. They just have to make sure that happens. I mean, just think about how Gladiators Legion turned things around with Bishu. The very first time they played with the issue they lost to bermuda right they gave bermuda their first ever series win and so i absolutely believe with the support and quality of the players and staff on sky foxes and legion that they're going to be able to turn things around right now though they need a bit more than just a hope they need bustio's emp to find money emp finds three there's one on the other side as well more people hacked for Sky Foxes, but no one dying on either side is too lot to He's not really doing much. Earth Shatter is gonna be blocked by the shield and the partial barriers, but a lot of Sky Foxes already taking very low Clonemans will be next. And Uprising Academy putting up some of the better defense we've seen today in general. And I love saying that about this team because they've obviously been on an upward trajectory. They've just kind of shot themselves in the foot over the last couple of series. And this time around, none of that is happening. They, It is a July 4th weekend for a lot of them. Most of them are probably out of school already as it is July. And so um, <laughs> they got to celebrate regardless of what happens here. Now. Oh, yeah. And I think a big part of Uprising Academy's ability to rebound from 
early fight disadvantage is Scalar and T to watch. The way that they work together, Scalar's ability to generate mana quickly really made it. Now it's Surge, it's gonna start things off. Doom's gonna counter one with his, they gotta find a pick, but right now they do find it. Lasher and Punk both fighting those picks. It's a 5v5, Skyfox actually finds themselves ahead in terms of it. Nomgar's Punk trying to bring them back on the Zarya this time around. He does find that kill, but this time around, he's gonna get bullied by the rest of Sky Foxes who are gonna give up this point with a little less than a minute. And Lastro actually, you know, swapping onto the Ana, I think, is also a really good look for Sky Foxes. You see the advantage that Ana confers to your team. Everything else being equal, you get EMP'd, I get EMP'd just for that last fight. If I have Nano on my Rhine, my Rhine is going to win that fight 10 times out of 10, right? Um, in that head-to-head, -head. and you want to have that tool if you're going to be Sky Foxes. Because Clone Man is a great Reinhardt. You just need to give him a bit more resource, give him a bit of that granny juice, and he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tidua, who's been taking him to school this whole time. No fault of the first. I think he's a fantastic Reinhardt. As we're going to see these Reinhardts, one get shattered, one get shattered himself. Clone Man going to be taken back to spawn. They're looking good, Skyfox Star, for this next push, however, so don't lose hope. They still got two and a half minutes, so they should win this next fight. All things considered, you're here ready with the EMP Shatter ready too. we have seen how strong the EMP Shatter combo has been in the past. Here we go, they're going to go ahead and rip the board right away, Shatter. EMP. Five people on the ground, one team, the others are stunned by I grenades that follow, but only one kill for Sky Fox. Everything went right for them in that situation. But upright the cat here is gonna find a couple kills out of nowhere. Clone Man on this nano should clean things up for Sky Fox, but this was a massive investment for them. They could have metered these out a little bit more. They really wanted just the EMP into shatter, but upright the cat is somehow still sticking around. Yeah, it was a great clutch sound barrier from Swimmer to save the whole team when they got shattered. And Skyfox is unfortunately just not able to clean up quickly enough without taking more of their own losses. Lastro ended up having to use the Nano to make Clone Man a little bit more deadly so that they could clean up the dregs of Uprising Academy and get more distance on this payload more quickly. Because again, Dorado, very tough map to push around that third point. You want as much time as possible. Now Mirror is going to be able to get EMP out for Uprising Academy. Academy in a great position too on the high ground along with Punk. Punk has that Graviton Surge in his back pocket. Remember, this is a D.Va player now on the Zarya because Mirror is on the Sombra. And this is just kind of the you know ring around the rosy of characters that you have to play now if you want to be sort of relevant in Overwatch, especially in pro and semi-pro play. Clone Man gonna die with Earthshower once more, but there is a return kill on the other side. Mac taking his counterpart down. So we fight now for Sky Fox is who gonna use that Graviton Surge. Punk is going to be locked up. Some good support, though, going to make them worry a little bit about those frags. They are going to get them in at the end. You're dying of EMP definitely doesn't help. And then again, with less than a minute left, they do find themselves on the second point. Yep, now Sky Fox is just need to maintain that momentum. Really good focus uh, from Boostio to take the support line down. Uprising Academy, you know, just sand support. There's only so many heroics Tita Watt can and Punk can do. And so Skyfoxes hopefully will be able to maintain this kind of momentum and target the weakest members of Uprising Academy because their backline enables their tanks so well that it's really hard to go 1v1 and duel a Rhine when they're getting such great support from their Ana. Kill the Ana first. They're entering arguably the hardest part in the entire map. These two turns here, they're going to get past the first one. But the second one is where a lot of these pushes can it get stalled because you're forced to enter a couple choke points. You have to go underneath the catwalk or you have to go onto the high ground, but you're going to be exposed if you're the attacking team regardless. And Uprising Academy left themselves exposed to an EMP. The are going to be going down here, though, and a defensive forward. We never really see those EMPs work out as well as the initial one, and we're going to see that ring true this time around. Yeah, especially when you're able to find a kill so quickly off the uh, off the back of Bustio's early EMP. Maybe it would have been better for Mira to hold it for later, but he's going back to his Reaper pick worked once. Why not this time again? Oh, what a boot! Beautiful boot! You saw Clone Man trying to. Oh my goodness! Huge shatter coming in from Pete Watt. 
Skyfox has had a little bit of hope for at the end, but with 48 seconds left and after a shatter from Tidabot laying all of them down on the ground, Skyfox are going to have to try one more time. They could have a couple more ultimates at their disposal. They could have a shatter. They could have a rally, but as of right now, they don't have either. Yeah, and if Swimmer didn't get that boop onto Clone Man, Tidawat is dead. Tidawat never shatters because he got charged by Clone Man. Uprising Academy really playing as one right now, and they still have hopes to win this out and hold Sky Foxes just inches away from that final point here and now. Back on the D, they're going to be looking to gobble up any of those anti nades or Hoon's Ram. 10 seconds remaining for Skyfox already taking damage and a beautiful biotic grenade onto Skyfox. You can see this coming from Lastro. This time around you see it coming from Scaler. Skyfox is already losing out in terms of number. Salvator coming after the EMP. Everything is going the way of Uprising Academy that should continue throughout this fight as Uprising Academy will hold Skyfox once again. I believe that's two out of the three maps you can find distance on that Sky Fox will be unable to finish. Yeah, this is, wow, Sky Fox is looking completely neutered by Uprising Academy. Every time they think they have a really good shot, they bring one member of Uprising Academy low, somebody else from the team comes in clutch with a save. Whether it's a Nano to save Tidawat, whether it's a Bio Nade to shut down Lastro or to, to uh, anti-nade the Grav, Uprising Academy right now firing on all cylinders and Sky Fox is still a little bit lost on how to find consistent one fights. I mean, it just it all of the players that you usually look to to be that carry, right? Lastro, he's such a great fragger. Top Zen North America, many people said. Uh, he just hasn't really been producing. And whether that's because Punk has been incredible at gobbling up the volleys, whether he's just never had line of sight, whether Tita Watt's shield is always up, uh, Uprising Academy seemed to be able to just depress any of Sky Fox's best advantages, right? Bustio is an amazing DPS player, his Sombra is extremely strong, and EMP doesn't seem to make a whole ton of difference in many of these fights, right? Well, I'll just sound, I'll sound better after the EMP, that one time notwithstanding. <laughs> and and so we really don't see Sky Fox is able to pull ahead with any advantages. Their comp, that they, the comps that they're running, not stronger than the comps that Uprising are able to run. Now, if Uprising Academy say we're hard stuck on Stenyata Goats, that could be something different, but they've shown great flexibility, and so who are you? <laughs> you to stop killing yourself. Uh, but Sky Foxes need to dig a bit deeper. We know that who are you, that who, that boost you are incredible players, and now it's time for the mechanics to come in. Sky Foxes still on the back foot ever since that Reaper came out. Just like, they look dazed. Uh, Days and Confused. Speaking of Matthew yeah. McConaughey coming back in <laughs> to play once more, it's not all about the bongos. Uprising Academy are going to be running mirror on the Widow. Bustio is going to be doing the same. I love this Widow v. Widow. Both can play amazing Widow makers. Mirror, though, recently more on the Zenyatta Fera side of things. So let's see if this Widowmaker are, is going to be that duel that we all want. Club and Dalton was a little bit a part of that as we are going to find that headshot on it to the Mercy. This is already Uprising Academy's fight. Let's see if Sky Foxes can come out of this with any sort of consolation prize. Uprising Academy picking off Sky Foxes so methodically. It's as if, you know, Sky Foxes' defense is just a house of cards. A big part of that is Scaler on this hog. You see him 31% to ult. He's a big part of breaking Clone Man's shield early on. And when that Orisa falls, you're not going to get you know any value from your Widow or your Ana who rely on the safety of a shield to get the best results. So this hog choice, again, a really good pick for Uprising Academy. We've seen other teams run it, even here on Dorado on Streets phase, where it used to be you always wanted to swap to a D.Va so you could take the high ground. But right now, Uprising Academy happy to win the ground game. Who are you going to be on the Genji this time around? We've seen, you know, little to moderate success on it, this character. Once he gets that Nano Blade going, that's when the opportunities arise for the Genji to make something happen. But a lot like... Ooh. Oh, hello. Hi, who are you? That was pretty. And so, but just like EMP, a lot of the times, uh, oh, hello. Oh, Hi, Swimmer. how are you? Nope, Swimmer gonna go ahead and go ahead oh and Oh my leave. gosh. I will finish this thought. So sometimes with EMP, usually you just wait for the ultimate to find a value. What Genji offers you is another opportunity with those swift strikes to make some noise, even if the Dragon Blade doesn't work. Exactly. Got there. 
Genji you is very <laughs> multi-purpose. Holy cow, swimmer over here. Like, to, you know, distracted. I'm surprised he can get air with balls that big. Swimmer has some of the most incredible reses, risky reses of anybody I've seen in Contenders. It's incredible. And Uprising Academy have an incredible ultimate thing. Here we go. Klaus is going to get a kill with one of those ultimates. And again, Skyfox is just... Seem to be a little sleepy. Jason Hughes once again. Just their reactions just aren't as good as it, they usually are in these matchups. I don't think this is a good. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't think that this is a good barometer of their overall play. But who are you getting the dragon blade? Though it's going to turn things around for them. Is he going to be able to do enough? It's uprising. Kemi still has some members on the payload. They still also have a lot of time. Is Clothing going to be coming in with this Winston pushing away uprising Academy? Lastro is going to get that res off as well. So they're going to love. That Diva to come back. Lucio is going to finally get Tinawad, but you know, as it, I was saying, if things were changing, but in the end, I don't think this is a good represent representation of Sky Foxes in general. Yeah, no. When Sky Foxes are on their game, they look unstoppable, and right now they just haven't been able to really play their game they want ever since they started this match against Uprising Academy. Who, by the way, I want to point out that. Klaus's Stormbow totally kills Swimmer, who went in for yet another ballsy res, only to get the arrow reflected into his face by his own teammate. Ah, shaking my head, Hanzo. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. It's happening. I can see it. Skybox is now with that Primal Rage and that Pulse Bomb way ahead of Uprising Academy in terms of full charge. They've got a ton of time. Is Punk going to eat the Pulse Bomb? We've given each Lizard. Did he eat the Pulse Bomb? These Divas can be hungry. You know, Divas value has definitely depleted. But when you find that value, like in that situation, you're going to want a Diva on your team every single time, especially if that Diva has been Punk. Playing like Punk this time around. You know, Trill did leave, so he's the representative of Australia that we have, and he wants to follow in his footsteps. Who are you going to find another Dragon Blade? And come at Slice and guys, Klaus will be taken down. Swimmer will follow, not from the blade, but by his friend Bustio. Sky Fox has finally stabilized this defense. They got two minutes left to hold. They got two minutes left to hold. It's certainly doable, and I love this look from Sky Foxes here. Again, just like Monty said, you if you don't want to beat them at their own game, if you can't beat them at their own game, don't play your heroes play your comps and it's so refreshing to see who are you back on the genji going all the way back to his lunatic high days he's always been a dazzler with this hero and he's had you know ult for every single fight boostio though oh man alive you want to be able to That's use bad. that pulse bomb he's dead though yeah if you retreat or you get hacked you're pretty much gonna go back to spot every single time unless other person makes a mistake. I think that's how it works out. Here, are going to have an ENT as well. They don't really need it. It's Busio still not in this fight. Who's going to get deep neck? This is still Uprising Academy's fight to lose. Busio will come back with the pull spot, which can be a game changer depending if Uprising Academy no! groups together. And Punk's going to eat a second bomb. Everything is functioning for Uprising Academy. Like I said about Grunto, the, the world just wants Uprising to do well. This is a performance that we have not seen out of Uprising in seasons. Mm -hmm. Oh man, everybody's popping off right now for Uprising Academy all at the same time, firing on all cylinders. I, Punk, the second eaten Pulse Bob, that just shouldn't happen. And Bustio's <laughs> a, a great tracer. So, you know, stop Pulse Bobbing so close to Punk. He's hungry. He hasn't been fed in weeks. So. Well, the Diva's body's so big, right? And so we're going to get stunned out. The breaks have been really good about spotting out the Sombras and getting those stunned off. Unfortunately, coming up the a couple of times, especially here Skybox and Speedwalk, going to get that Primal and a Nano combo. He's definitely going to be trying to throw some people around in the back line. Or he's going to die himself. Uprising Academy unable to support their take. I think they kind of let him do his own thing because he had the Nano. But in the end, it wasn't the right idea. Still, though, Uprising Academy holding for now. Nope, they do back off wisely, I would say. The last thing that they want with just a minute 40 left is to lose a member to a staggered pick. Skyfox is now desperately trying to farm up to that EMP. Mirror and Bustio neck and neck. Bustio does have it on line. Uprising Academy have precious few seconds left to get some of these ultimates. They've been good in the neutral fight so far. EMP hits four people. The person who had the ultimate already used it. Mirror, though, going to get taken down immediately. Clone Man going to find that kill. He's going to fall as well, but they're definitely seeing more green on the left side than white. So Sky Foxes are going to find themselves on the top. But the EMP coming up from a mirror is a very interesting decision if you're Uprising Academy. Do you wait or do you use it to open? Right, that's the question here. Punk 
has had, you know, some good performances on Zarya, who's now swapped to for a potential late fight grab. I would say open with it. You, maybes are maybes. Maybe Bustio, you know, does Bustio things again and picks Swimmer off before the fight even starts. You never quite know. I'm generally more for proactivity for these teams, especially when you got a juicy spot like this. Oh, oh, mirror. <laughs> oh, 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 mirror gonna hold on to because he didn't have that light of sight on the Zenyatta. Really heads up play. I don't think all Tompers would have waited there as he's gonna go ahead and throw that EMP. Not gonna ton of people hack. Both man and Mac are gonna be two of the that are hacked. Where he's gonna be that third one. As who's gonna get hacked in it? That neck as well, but the slipping and slide and the dipping and diving and dodging really good so far for Skyfoxes who are going to fall victim to an Earth Shatter, but a sound barrier is there to counter that as Uprising Academy unable to do anything with their ult, so Mirrors is going to do it the old match to make my team clip that out, EMP now going the other way into the bomb. EMP bomb something we haven't seen a ton of so far in contenders in general, but it's working out here. Skyfoxes will be winning this match, so Uprising Academy will win the Series 3 to one, getting their first win since last season on the board. I believe it was week one. I'll confirm that after the break. But Sky Fox is taking Dorado's a nice consolation prize for them. Again, if this was a first to four, mm -hmm. I think Sky Foxes win potentially the next two maps based on how that went. They yep. seem to figure things out. But unfortunately, that's not the world we live in as Uprising Academy take their win three to one. Good stuff. Yeah, it might have been a bit different if Mira could have found a kill off the back of that EMP. But as it stands, Uprising Academy can definitely pet themselves on the back for their performance here today. Took everybody, certainly me, off guard. And Sky Foxes too, in all likelihood, who are going to be pouring over these VODs in the end. But I just, I mean, I feel like we've been saying this every season we've casted contenders, but the parody just keeps rising. Right? The Where does teams... parody get closer together? What does it do? <laughs> what is parody? What, what is even parody? is parody? Who am I? Um, but I, these teams are getting more and more competitive. Yeah. The gap between their skill difference has been closing undoubtedly. And whether that's because, you know, the academy teams are maybe slipping and sliding, I don't think that's really the case. I think it really is our non academy teams leveling up, coming in to their own, right? I was never good at GOATs. That's fine because I'm good at something else. It's called DPS. You know, I have a pamphlet on it if you'd like to read about it and it, it really has been the path forward for you know phase two bermuda uprising academy everybody grunto everybody who's had an upset over you know the advantageous opponent today congratulations yep uprising academy is an academy team however so this that should is. be the expectation moving forward we've mm -hmm. set it up you beat a very good team in skyfox so the expectation is that this will continue and now that's the next test for them but the next test for us is going to be atlanta academy versus square one the Close out the day. We're going to get to that very quickly, about six minutes after the break.